All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Next Other Power. So I want to talk about the Classic Physique Olympia again in this video. Um, in particular, the guy that I feel got robbed the most um, and really one of the most surprising placings in Classic Physique was Dave Hoffman taking 11th place this year at his Olympia debut. This was a guy going into the Olympia that I had in my top six. I mean, the conditioning that he brought to the New York Pro um, was absolutely phenomenal. He took third at the New York Pro, of course, behind Regan Grimes and Divine Wilson. But he's known for that trademark conditioning, that trademark vacuum pose, um, and really his insane symmetry. I mean, in that front double bicep, the symmetry he has is amazing. Now, really, the only flaw that I could find with this physique for this division um, is the size of his legs. Um, clearly, the judges here are rewarding guys with better legs, bigger legs. But even though Dave doesn't have the biggest legs, I think the separation and the detail and the conditioning that he brought in those legs was incredible. And looking through the photos here, I just really can't see what the judges found wrong um, with Dave Hoffman's physique compared to some of the other guys that did place within the top 10. Um, I just don't really understand what he needs to improve upon. I don't think he was off. I think his conditioning was, you know, right on the money here. I think he could have been a little bit sharper in some of the back shots. Uh, but from the front, I think this is one of the most complete classic guys. Um, one of the deepest vacuums on stage. Very good poser. Not only can he hit that trademark vacuum pose very well, but the other classic pose I think he's very good at um, is hitting Arnold Schwarzenegger's signature Mantis pose, where he flexes one bicep, flexes one tricep to the side. Um, I think that's one of his best poses there, and I think he does it very, very well, just like he does with the vacuum pose. So really, I'm struggling to find really much fault with his physique compared to, again, some of the other guys that placed. Like Regan Grimes in eighth, I would have had Dave Hoffman above Regan Grimes. Or Courage Opara in 10th. I could, I could see Dave um, above both of those guys. Really, the top six was a very complete top six. Um, and I could maybe understand why he didn't crack that top six. But I think 11th place here um, was absolutely a robbery for Dave Hoffman. I would say the fans' opinion, the most fan comments that I've seen on my YouTube channel about Classic Physique have been telling me, make a video about Dave Hoffman. Dave Hoffman got robbed. Um, and I, I thought the exact same thing when I saw the placing. So I've been going back over the photos, going back over the videos, and I really don't see the justification for putting him in a placing as low as 11th. Again, I think the back and the legs could use some work. The back could have been sharper and a little bit more developed. Um, but other than that, I mean, the conditioning that he brought compared to some of the other guys in the top 10, I think he was certainly more conditioned than some of the top 10 guys. Even you can make an argument than some of the top six guys. So honestly, I don't really know why he was in 11th. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you think Dave Hoffman should have placed higher than 11th? And if you think he deserved 11th place, um, please let me know why you think he placed outside of the top 10 because really, I was quite surprised by it. So thank you guys for watching the video and please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Nick Strength and Power, signing out.